So I'm reading this article, and lately I, I know that you noticed I've been reading a lot of articles having to do with uh, climate change. They're starting to pop up more often because of the change of times and what's been going on. And so this article I found rather intriguing and also a warning about what is to come, unfortunately. And so it says Antarctic. Antarctica Doomsday Glacier is facing a threat of imminent collapse. And so these are scientists, which a lot of people used to pretty much scrutinize and ignore. But now there is no more ignoring now that we're having some real hardcore evidence that climate change is actually occurring. And it's occurring like every week we're noticing different things that in our lifetime are that are happening that are unusual so this is yet but another sign and warning that antarctica's doomed day glacier is facing threat of imminent collapse so the scientists are warning this is by david knowles he's a senior editor and this came out on the 14th. It says an Antarctica glacier. It's the size of Florida. It's on the verge of collapse. And so why is this serious? Okay, here it is. Scientists with the American Geophysical Union warned that on Monday, a nightmare scenario made worse by climate change that could eventually result in several feet of global sea level rise. How will that affect people? If you've really been paying attention to some of those models that they show, that some of these places that we know now as cities and towns and some of these places that are coastal areas may be looking at higher levels of water, may be actually eventually underwater. So the findings were based on new satellite imagery of the Thwaites, glacier which has been nicknamed the doomsday glacier that's why they call it that because if this collapses showing a proliferation of cracks across the surface it's the size of florida and so what does it do causes the sea level of the water to rise so the eastern ice shelf is likely to shatter into a hundred of icebergs Oregon State University glaciologist Aaron Petit said this video news conference Monday, suddenly the whole thing would collapse. And so scientists have been monitoring, they've been monitoring this glacier, the current melting of which contributes to roughly about 4% of the annual sea level rise for years. And so its eastern portion abuts an underwater mountain. <laughs> and was thought to be more stable, but new satellite images reveal that the fractures have developed that are allowing warming ocean waters to speed its disintegration. And so in the eastern portion of the glacier were to give, if it were to give away, it would hasten the collapse of its other portions, Petit said, adding that the collapse of the eastern section could occur in the next three to five years. That's not that far away. And so like the shattering of your car's windows, it is a structured right now that this ice shelf acts like a dam. And so it's not going to for a very long time, Petit said, but this is how it sort of looks right here. And so the chain reaction of that following the collapse of the eastern section of the glacier could threaten coastal residents around the world, many of whom may be unprepared for the sudden spike of sea level rise, which has risen slowly due to the climate change since the dawn of the Industrial Revolution. So since 1880, rising global temperatures have resulted in eight to nine inches of sea level rise through the rate of the rise seen as a sharp uptick in the recent decades. So in t <clears throat> by 2100 or 2100, NASA um, predicts climate change will cause sea 
seas to rise by two to six feet. <clears throat> okay. So that's largely because the melting of the ice in the Antarctica and Greenland. And so Thwaites, the Thwaites Glacier has been melting due to the combination of warm air and warm the water temperatures caused by the least partly by climate change, making it more unstable. So between 1980s to 2017, it lost 600 billion tons of ice. So as oceans continue to warm, the glacier is expected to become more unmoored to land, increasing its risk of collapse. And so things are evolving really rapidly here. Ted Scambos, uh, he's a glaciologist at the University of Colorado, Boulder. <clears throat> he said this on Monday news conference, so it's daunting to think about this. Three to five years, that's not far away, guys. It's very scary. So while it could take centuries for the full impact of what we would see, just even experiencing a, a total collapse, the Thwaites Glacier to play out in the latest data, Antarctica is not giving scientists any reason for optimism, okay? That doesn't sound good, right? So each new satellite image we get, we see deeper and longer fractures. And so Petit said this, adding, what we're seeing already is enough to be worried about. Thwaites is kind of a monster. And so this, looking at this little picture, you're thinking, that's not that big. But if you actually see how large it is, think about the size of Florida. Just give it some thought here. And having a lot of huge ice break into pieces and then all of a sudden it creates more and more sea level rise, thinking about cities, towns, coastal areas where you can no longer live because it's underwater. That's how serious this is. I know it doesn't sound that serious right now because people can't see it. But you don't want to see it. That's basically what they're saying. So this is another threat to humankind as well as the pandemic. <clears throat> 